Queen Camilla gives rare update on King Charles' health seven months after cancer diagnosis. Queen Camilla gave a rare update on husband King Charles III's health, seven months after he revealed his cancer diagnosis. Camilla, 77, said the monarch is doing very well, while attending the opening of the new state-of-the-art Dyson Cancer Center. At the Royal United Hospital in Bath, England, on Tuesday, September 3, the Mirror reported. The Queen seemingly referenced Charles, 75, while speaking to a patient receiving a stem cell treatment for blood cancer. When asked how he was doing, the man responded, I am feeling very tired. Camilla replied, men won't admit it. Delivering the remark with a touch of humor, according to the outlet. Camilla had previously spoken about how His Majesty was keeping up a busy work schedule despite being told to take it a bit easier. During the second annual Queen's Reading Room Literary Festival in Surrey, England, on June 8, she told author Lee Child that Charles was doing fine except he won't slow down and won't do what he's told, the Sun reported. Buckingham Palace announced on February 5 that the monarch had been diagnosed with cancer following a routine prostate surgery the month prior. Subsequent diagnostic tests have identified a form of cancer, the statement said, without revealing what form of the disease Charles had. His Majesty has today commenced a schedule of regular treatments, during which time he has been advised by doctors to postpone public-facing duties. Throughout this period, His Majesty will continue to undertake state business and official paperwork as usual, the announcement concluded. During his treatment, photos of Charles greeting guests at Buckingham Palace were released to the public, as well as a picture of the King smiling. While reading Get Well cards from royal fans, he continued to attend private church services and joined other members of the royal family to celebrate Easter at St. George's Chapel in Windsor on March 31. Although Charles sat apart from family members inside the chapel as a precaution, he shook hands and greeted members of the public who waited outside for a glimpse of the monarch. The king returned to public-facing duties on April 30, as he and Camilla visited the Macmillan Cancer Support Treatment Centre in London, where they met with patients and medical staff. Even though Camilla said that Charles was doing well, there is still a plan underway for when the king dies. The business of planning his funeral has already begun, an insider exclusively told in touch of the current monarch on August 21, unpleasant as it seems. The palace is giving the impression that Charles is on the mend, but he's still very sick, the source continued. Still, he's the king and palace officials are practical enough to know death is a possibility. The king's funeral plan's code name is Operation Menai Bridge, named after a suspension bridge in Wales. A nod to King Charles III's longtime role as the Prince of Wales. A similar plan was already in place for when his late mother, Queen Elizabeth II, died on September 8, 2022, at the age of 96. Called Operation London Bridge, everything was mapped out from the order of who was notified first all the way through her funeral arrangements, 